Hi guys, welcome back to another Sunday Stata tip here on In Case of Econ Struggles. If you're finding these videos helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, we are going to be talking about importing data. We are going to be importing Excel files and CSVs and teaching you guys how to do that. So you can see I've got this do file already started here with that readme that we've talked about before. And I'm going to just briefly review how we set directory settings. So I've got my two files that we're gonna use in here. So to set that path, I'm going to click to the right and I'm going to copy this path in here. Now, the way we import data is going to be pretty simple. We're just gonna say import Excel using, and then I am going to put that path. Again, if you're confused about what I'm doing, see my previous video on setting file paths in Stata. Then I'm going to go like this and we will just try the simple command and see what happens. So we'll go ahead and run this. And then we can see, ah, uh, we read it in. Let's hit browse. And we see we've got a blank sheet, which is kind of strange. That's not really what we anticipated. So let's pop open this file and take a look and see what could be happening. I see that we've got this data, which looks fine, but we've got this readme sheet. This is often what happens when you get Excel data, you have some sort of readme, which doesn't have any data in it. It might just have some information on the data or some notes, but we don't really want that in Stata. We want this. So we're gonna have to specify the sheet name in here. So let's go back into our do file and we're going to say sheets and it's called college distance like that. And then we'll add a clear afterwards so we make sure that there's no data in. Let's try that again. All right, so now we've read it in and it went better, but we've got these column names that are A through N and we can see that the column names from the data are the first row, which isn't great. So we're going to modify this code one more time. We are going to add this option called first row, where first row, it's going to tell Stata, hey, the first row is the variable names. So don't put that in the data, treat those as the variables. Go ahead and run it again. And now you can see that we have successfully read in this data. All the variable names are at the top. They're not in the data anymore. And we have had a successful read in, which is good. Now, very briefly, we'll go over how to do a CSV. So maybe I'll just add a comment that this is Excel. And then we'll do a, another line down here where this is CSV. This is gonna be very similar. We're just gonna say import delimited using, and we'll use this same file name because they're named the same, except for instead of Excel, we'll say CSV and we'll do comma clear. So we'll go ahead and run that. And you can see we've got the same exact thing. It's just we read in from a comma separated value sheet instead of an Excel sheet. So hopefully this was helpful in terms of learning how to import Excel and CSVs, especially importing specific sheets within an Excel file. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe. If there's another Stata tip you'd like to see, comment below. We will see you next week for another Sunday Stata tip.